Art fairs have become extremely important on our yearly activity calendar. They represent quite a big part of our annual turnover. I think the reason why they do so well is because they're so convenient. People who love art and want to purchase art, they can come here, they find a wide selection. It's curated, you have to apply to show, and not every gallery gets allowed or is allowed to show their work. So you know, the client will know that they're getting good quality. I also think the, 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 the landscape of art buying has changed. You know, years ago, what people did is they went to exhibition openings and gallery openings, and that's what they did. Now, they actually wait for the art fairs, and when they visit them, they have the luxury of 20, 30, 50, depending on how big the fair is, galleries exhibiting works there by various artists. So it's, it's quite convenient for them. It's something we take very seriously. At World Art, we actually do a good five art fairs a year. Cape Town, Johannesburg, London, and Miami. The Turbine Art Fair, for instance, it's a very specific fair. There's a price cap on the artwork, so nothing here sells for more than 50,000 Rand. That allows me to introduce younger and new artists to the market. They allow us to engage with the clients, see what they like about certain artworks. And of course, you know, when you're dealing with art, it's all about building that platform and promoting the artists. And an art fair plays an immensely important role in doing that. This year I've got a chap with the name of Claude Chandler. We actually showed him last year as well and uh, he did very well, so it's great to be back with him. We are releasing a series of limited edition prints by Norman O'Flynn, which is also quite an event. He's got an international following and this is the first time that we're doing prints. Then uh, there's a young lady by the name of Fatima Mohammed Luke. This is the first time that her work will be shown at an art fair. She uses building blocks like Lego blocks and so on to create artworks. John Kipido is an artist that World Art has been working with for the last seven years. And uh, we've decided that this is a good opportunity to show some of his work to a, to a new audience in Johannesburg.